Daddy, why is my matzah broken? Broken matzah. The Seder begins with telling the story of our exodus from Egypt. And the whole focus is the father breaks the middle matzah. And if we give the Seder play to a child, he also breaks the middle matzah. And you tell him, break the matzah. Now, this is a whole matzah. Whole matzah is something that you're supposed to say a blessing on. You're supposed to say a blessing on something whole. So why ask the child, Daddy, why does my matzah have to be broken? The Zohar explains that the second matzah is reflective of the second letter of God's name. God's name is Yud and a He and a Vav and a He. Second letter of God's name is a He. The He, let me make it for you, looks like this. It looks like a Dalit and a Vav. This is the Dalit and that's the Vav. And together they make He. And the Zohar explains that the Vav is removed from the Dalit and that creates bitterness. And that's why we commemorate the whole story of the Haggadah on the matzah, which was reflective of the hay of God's name. And this is the source of our bitterness. So what exactly does that mean? Why would that be the source of our bitterness? The Zohar goes further and explains that the life of a Jew is supposed to be the Torah. And when a person struggles physically, the person is also struggling spiritually. As Maimonides says, if a person has pain and suffering, he can't understand things clearly. And so the laws of the Torah are unclear to the student of the Torah. As long as we are in exile, we are suffering. And so, the whole element of the Haggadah is based upon this idea that Jewish life is the Torah and we have an unclear understanding of the Torah because of the physical pressures that surround us. Is that what it means? Or is there another meaning to all of that? So let me explain something to you. A human being has to toil. A human being must struggle. And the struggle actually elevates the human being. And the person has a choice, either to struggle with his soul or to struggle in the physical world. Even if you have all of the money in the world, if your wife and kids are miserable, then your life is miserable. If you have a horrible boss, you're upset, your life is insecure, no matter how much money you're getting. If there are struggles and conflicts in your life, doesn't make a difference how strong, how good, how successful you are, it's going to make you miserable. But a person has a choice to either struggle spiritually or to struggle physically. But we must all struggle. And the question is, why must we struggle? And the answer is as follows. Had man not struggled, had we been eminently successful with the creation of the plow, and the plow would have brought abundance of food for everyone, we would still be raising crops with a cow and a piece of wood or metal. We would never have advanced to the computer technology age that we're in. We would never have created the expanse and the empires and the civilization that we have. The reason for man's advancement is because man had to struggle, and in order to overcome that struggle, man had to be creative. And so, why is the matzah broken? The matzah is reflective of the human being. The human being is always incomplete. 
And because we're incomplete, we're in a state of sorrow, of pain, bitterness. But that bitterness actually is good because the fact that we know we're missing something causes us to examine and to try to find new things. And in that process, we make life better for ourselves, physically and spiritually. So tell your child, the matzah is broken because life has always something missing. And it is the struggle to find the something missing that makes us advance to a much greater height. And that's why the matzah is broken, the hay is broken into two parts, each part whole by itself, but making a greater whole. When a person looks for what he's missing, he reaches a level which is far greater than the, than the sum of the two parts. The person reaches a level of civilization, a level of understanding, a level of inspiration that is far greater than had the person been whole to begin with. By having the broken matzah, we reach a level which is far beyond what the normal whole matzah could be. Let me tell you an interesting story. I once received a whole matzah from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, which today is his birthday. And for me, this was the most wonderful thing in the world. We used to wait for a piece of the matzah that the Rebbe would give for our group, and each one of us would get a little piece. And here I was, meriting to have a whole matzah, and I would be able to make a blessing over that matzah and eat it on the first night of Pesach. A guest arrived, and he told me he heard that I had a whole matzah. He was also from Lubavitch, and he also wanted matzah for his Seder. But he couldn't walk over to my Seder. He was having the Seder at his mom's house over five miles away. And so he said to me, you're going to break the half the matzah in half and give me half of the matzah. I didn't want to, but of course I did it. And in retrospect, I gained a lot more from the broken matzah by sharing it with somebody else than I would have had I had the whole matzah and made a blessing over it. When a person is missing something or is willing to miss something, in order to share it with somebody else, to make somebody else's life better. When we miss something, we can understand that somebody else is missing something. When we're whole, when we feel everything is good, we sometimes are not aware that other people are missing things. And so the reason why the matzah is broken is for us to realize not only are we lacking, but other people are lacking too. And we should try to help the others in what they lack. And in that way, the broken matzah becomes very, very whole. Have a wonderful Pesach.